This is the SpaceX Falcon 9 Bulgaria Sat 1 uh, launch. Uh, it's the second reflight of a flight through a rocket stage, and I'm quite excited to see how this goes. Uh, so, this is a reaction video for me to practice filming and also see what kinds of uh, emotions uh, I have when a launch occurs. So, right now it's T minus 5 minutes and 40 seconds, so it's quite a bit. Uh, more until the launch and often it's or not often but sometimes it's a scrub uh, hopefully this time it will uh, go ahead as planned and we will have a launch in uh... now today's launch is bulgaria's first geostationary communications satellite and it will provide direct to home television service as well as data communication services in the balkans as well as other parts of europe and africa for Bulgaria Sat, this is a first of kind investment in terms of financial and strategic importance. Building a satellite and launching it is an incredible, incredible effort. Today's mission was made possible by the tremendous collaborative effort of the Bulgaria Sat team, along with its customers and international partners. The good news right now, as we are about T minus five minutes into the count, is that Bulgaria Sat is go for today's launch. T minus four Bulgaria minutes Sat and 30 seconds. To internal power began the process at about T minus 35 minutes. It is fully on internal power right now. Fuel loading continues to proceed nominally. Uh, on both stages, we are just topping up liquid oxygen in this final minute. Liquid oxygen mode. T minus four minutes. We are coming up on strong back retraction. You can see at the top of your screen, there are some arms that cradle the rocket next to our strong back. That is the structure to the right side. Those arms open up. The strong back moves backwards one and a half degrees. And then at this point in time, once we reach the T0, the Strombeck will fall away as the rocket lifts off. We are coming into terminal count. Uh, the last major event being at T minus one minute where our ground systems will hand over control of the rocket to the onboard flight computer. Uh, at that point in time, our onboard T -minus, flight computer uh, will govern the minutes countdown soon. sequence, performing the final checks across Falcon 9. Uh, so it's very close to launch, and it's very exciting. This is the second sure reflight of a flight proven so we are going to go uh, rocket. Silent on our actually, it's the first reflight of the second flight of the flight proven booster. Of and uh, if this works out, of it's uh, one just another Kennedy evidence Center that we use the rockets work. And it's also exciting because SpaceX is planning another launch in just a couple of days on the other side of the US, Vandenberg Air Force Base. Yeah, so that's going to be exciting, but that's going to be an entirely new rocket stage. This is uh, reused or a, a re, uh, uh, flight proven. T minus two minutes, and now it's very silent. Stage two locks closed now. It's always very tense. Falcon 9 on internal power. Vehicles at the cell phone. Stage one, stage two, crack, and secured.
FTS on countdown one. Announce AFTS is ready for launch. AFTS is ready for T-minus launch. T minus one minute. BC verify Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. Stage 1, stage 2, press for flight. LD verify go for launch. LD go for launch. Let's go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yes. It's launched. Lift off. Amazing that this is a reflown booster. Looks pristine. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering Bulgaria Sat 1 to a geostationary transfer orbit. Let's see your max Q is coming up. Merlin engines capable of putting out over 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We are coming up on max Q at one minute and 18 seconds roughly. We'll be passing through max Q at a The scary part is as long as the first pressure. stage is burning, something can go wrong since it's a, a flight proven booster. Uh, but now it's about halfway Just through. Cross through it. That is one of the highest Past the max Q. states on the rocket. It's a beautiful camera shot from the ground. It's very clear weather. I really like how the engines fan out so when the vector out kilometers to keep the, the center of thrust you can in the, the CG. Engine plume expand at the base of the rocket. That is indicative that we are leaving Earth's atmosphere. And the atmosphere is getting thin. It's at 35 kilometers altitude. You just heard the call out that the Merlin vacuum engine on second stage has begun chilling in. This means that we are getting ready for three major events. Main engine cutoff, Nico 1, stage separation, and second engine start. We'll talk about all three of them after they occur. A little more of the first stage. Maybe, I don't know, 20 seconds. It's looking good still. Sixty-four k altitude now. Yes! Oh, the second, the first stage survived. Now it's a separation and the second stage ignition. Yes, there we have it. It works. Yes, yes, yes. It's such a beautiful shot when you see the second stage engine. Was Nico main engine cut off. It's very slow so turning around this time. Usually they are very quick for the first stage to turn out of the uh, turn. The wings are out. And then on the right side of your screen. You are seeing the glowing red nozzle of our second stage engine. <laughs> so amazing. The first stage booster reuse works. Awesome. That glowing red nozzle on the second it stage opens, is uh, how you can see that we have uh, insanely good great, in space. Uh, possibilities in space. We will have fairing separation in about 15 seconds. Now the first stage will be returned for the second right reuse. We have the um, fairing separation. It's like a good separation of the fairing. That was a brief glimpse of Bulgaria sat within the fairing of our second stage. First stage is going down into the uh, 
majority of her sentence uh, to the drone ship. It's a bit more until the landing, and then the stage could be reused a third time. And that On was the left side of your before. screen, you are seeing an image from the top of our four of our first stage. You see two grid fins uh, in the sides of that image. We use those grid fins to guide the stage through the atmosphere to the drone ship. No, we, we have only stage one telemetry. I was thinking, whoa, that's a very bad altitude, but it's stage one. Usually I think they show the stage two as well, but maybe they focus on the stage one. The do one. look small, but they are about five feet long, about four feet wide. So they're rather large as we, we use them to guide ourselves back. It's 180k altitude, that's still well above the atmosphere, so it's no influence from the, from the gas. Uh, come out from the side of the stage. So they use a gas-based RCS system Those for doing altitude control. Thrusters or attitude to control. orient the stage. I guess you could use RCS for altitude control as well, if they were really powerful RCS. <laughs> and a really lightweight ship. Anyways, it's for attitude control. Now coming up in about a minute, we have our entry burn of the first stage. This is a three engine entry burn. Uh, for today's mission, since we are landing on the drone ship, we do not have a boost back burn. We only have an entry burn and a landing burn. Two burns total. The entry burn is coming up in uh, maybe for the first stage. 30 seconds or so. It's hard to read the timeline because it's no numbers on it. As and I the mentioned altitude previously, is accelerating now down towards the atmosphere. And as it nears the atmosphere, uh, and so the atmosphere density increases exponentially, the there's a risk uh, that you get a chaotic tumble of the stage and then it turns into confetti. <laughs> and that's the typical fate of uh, rocket stages at this um, point. But uh, soon uh, SpaceX will do their magic with the so and the... Um, uh, you just heard and the re-entry burn to protect the stage from uh, destruction Angle during re-entry, which is a SpaceX the innovation, stage as it's coming back. and it's very impressive and cool, and it's gonna, yeah, help us do amazing things as humans. Now it's on, it's still working, that's good. They don't do the re-entry burn that long. They just want to kill off the excess speed and protect the bit during the seconds. critical Three part of atmospheric reentry. After that, the grid fins should be able to break down additionally. And uh, also for some guidance. Actually, they use RCS a bit still. 36 k altitude. Good shutdown of first stage MG. That's good. Burn. Now the lens is uh, fogging up. It is camera. normal for us to see some of the uh, soot appear on the camera now screen. Now the suit is clearing. We may also lose, uh, occasionally lose coverage of the first stage entry as we come in through the horizon. Uh, that is all perfectly normal. Maybe they lost the stage. This is expected to lose the signal from stage one. We will have uh, signal acquisition as we come closer to the drone ship. Oh, that's scary. Meanwhile, you're seeing on our second stage the engine burning. They lost the signal from our the first stage to the re last stage. About eight minutes and thirty seconds, uh, and then we will have a coast phase for the second stage uh, before we do our final what burn to put Bulgaria stage into a lost? geostationary transfer orbit. We lost the signal. We're coming up in about 30 seconds on our landing burn from the first stage. The first stage might not be there. more seconds for this uh, stage two burn. I hope it's still there. That's the scary. Landing burn is starting. Oof, landing burn is starting. Confirmation that means they have signal. We see video from the drone ship. And it's shaking, that means the rocket is working. Oh, the video cut out. We see that it, we see it was next to the drone ship, so maybe it crashed. I mean next... The, and it looks like we may have lost some of the footage coming in for the landing ship, uh, uh, for coming in for the drone ship. Where is the drone ship footage? 
Uh, we do expect to lose signal from the drone ship as we come in. If you've watched previous uh, missions, uh, that is not uncommon for us to lose coverage of the first stage coming back to the drone ships. Uh, they might the have some sort of uh, hydraulic uh, coming issue or something. That can yeah, cause some issues. Whoa! Yes! It worked! Nice! It's a bit off, but uh, still within the circle. <laughs> oh, that was so scary. <laughs> the most challenging The most challenging landing. Ah, so it was a high energy insertion as well. Meanwhile, we have a good orbit for second stage. We are in a good parking orbit for second stage. Good parking orbit for second stage. We will be in coast phase to about the T plus 27 minute mark. So we're going to leave you right now uh, with that image of our animation of second yeah. stage orbit so around worked. Earth. <laughs> we're going to come up it was on, a really uh, scary landing. For the oh, stage. the signal was about, lost from the first stage uh, during uh, so. uh, re-entry phase. And then as it came down to the drone ship, we didn't know if it was still alive. I guess SpaceX did, but we didn't. And then uh, we saw the engine starting with the uh, water uh, splashing up from the ocean because of the thrust. And then uh, signal was lost from the cameras on the drone ship, which happens sometimes during landing because uh, the um, antennas get uh, uh, out of place so it can't transmit the signal. And then uh, a couple of seconds later, maybe 10, it felt like 5 minutes, uh, boom, the signal was back and the stage was sitting there, smack. Uh, apparently it was one of the most challenging uh, landings yet, and they succeeded with a uh, previously from, flown uh, booster. So that's really awesome. <laughs> Great! Well, that's it for this uh, reaction video on SpaceX. It was really intense, like always. All spaceflight launches are very intense, uh, but also very exciting and rewarding when it succeeds.